So if you've got a 6.6 Duramax and you walk outside and you see this, you're probably gonna panic a little bit just like I did, but it could be a simple fix. It's dripping antifreeze just about everywhere under here. All along the, the seam where the bell housing joins the back of the engine, there's just green droplets of antifreeze everywhere. My first thought was, well, I guess I've blown a head gasket or something. And uh, let's just say it, uh, it caused me a sleepless night. I got my step ladder out, climbed up into the engine bay. And of course, all of you who own a Duramax know this is what you're looking at. And I started looking for wet spots. And I found a tiny little stream of antifreeze coming out right there. Watch the screwdriver. See that? See that wet spot? There was a little stream of antifreeze coming out right there. Okay, and that connects to this pipe that goes over to your thermostat housing right there. Okay, and then goes over and connects up underneath your uh, one of your turbo pipes. But that's not head gaskets. So you can bet I said hallelujah. In case anyone's wondering, that's a 7 16 Now with that rubber hose out of the way, it's a lot easier to see it. There is your culprit. That little short piece of coolant hose is the whole cause of all that antifreeze leaking out the back of your engine, causing you all that panic. We're gonna replace that and then we're gonna check it. They don't make it easy to get off, so you might wanna have yourself an assortment of long nose needle nose pliers and a screwdriver to mess with that thing because you can see the clamps are not in an easy to get to spot. So I'm gonna wrestle with this for a little bit and see if I can get those clamps off. Well, you can see that hose is, it's pretty deteriorated. It just fell apart when I twisted on it. That's the kind of clamp that's down, down on the bottom. And uh, I'm sure there's a proper tool for getting that off. I just don't have it. This pipe is probably as old as the truck. Yeah, it's just coming off in pieces. In case you were wondering, I'm not running a generator. Water department has a burst water main behind me so yes I remind myself that someone's having a worse day than me well, there we go there's one in Now you can get a better view uh, of the passageway as it goes from start to finish there. It's not a very long piece of pipe, but it is enough to cause you trouble. Here is another angle with um, the turbo as a reference. 